is Saturday, December 19th. And I have a very special thing to tell you about today. When I was 11 years old, I was in fifth grade. Maybe some of you watching this are around that age. I met my very best friend. Her name is India. And today is her birthday, the 19th of December. So it's a very special day. I always think of India today and let her know that I love her because we have been friends all these years. That's a lot of years. I'm telling you, I'm not going to tell you her age because she might not want me to, but we're getting up there in years. It's great. I'm telling you, it's always great to be another year older. And uh, someday you may find out just what I'm talking about. I hope you do. So today we're at the 19th, obviously, and we have to read what says in our little book about the 19th. I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. This is from Habakkuk, chapter two, verse one. Isn't that a funny name? Have you ever heard of Habakkuk? Isn't that a funny name? Habakkuk was a man of God, a prophet. A prophet listens carefully to the heart of God and then shares the news with God's people. Habakkuk had a special lookout place. See where he's looking out? He doesn't look real happy in this picture, does he? In this special lookout place, it was a tall tower he climbed to see the whole city. When Habakkuk looked out at God's people, he saw they were filled with sadness. All of God's people were waiting for God to save them, to rescue them from all the darkness and badness. Their broken hearts made Habakkuk's heart hurt too. Lord, it's so hard to wait for you to come and save us, Habakkuk prayed. And do you know what happened? God came close. That's what God always does. God always shows up when we slow down to pray. Watch and wait, God whispered to Habakkuk. I will do something amazing, but you have to wait for my coming. We have to wait for God's timing, it says here, and sometimes that's very hard to do, isn't it? Habakkuk sang from the top of his tower, I will trust you, God, even when I can't see you. I will trust that you are loving. Habakkuk knew that even in the middle of hard things, there are still happy things from God. Habakkuk could be happy while he was waiting because he already had God, the very best gift of all. One day, all the long waiting would be over. The angels would sing a song, don't be afraid, be happy. As many times as you can, go to your special lookout place, climb if you have to, and look for as many of God's gifts as you can. Count all the gifts God is giving you. Count all the ways God loves you. Isn't that a way to make your heart always sing? You know, I do that every day when I say thank you to God for so many things. It's called gratitude and it does make my heart sing. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you always hear our prayers. Help us to never stop counting gifts, counting all the ways you love us. Amen. Or there are so, so many ways that God loves us. Now, let's see. Oh, no, I knocked the little tree off. Let's see what's in number 19. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That is a tall watchtower. That's a tower where you watch high above things. You know, I used to do that in a tree. 
Maybe you do that sometimes in a tree too, or maybe a tree house. That's pretty cool. Sometimes I even go out to my deck, which is a little higher off the ground, and look out in the woods where I live. Do you know there are so many things of God's that are happening all the time in God's woods? Little squirrels running around, birds talking to each other. Sometimes I hear owls at night. Sometimes I hear coyotes howl. I love when coyotes howl, it's so beautiful. And you know, those trees are feeding us and loving us and sending us clean air every day. We can even love the trees God gives us. All right, let's put our watchtower in a very important place. I'm gonna move this little piece right here. We're gonna put our watchtower right here because our tree is getting pretty full, isn't it? Pretty cool. We're getting pretty close to Christmas. That's very exciting. Now, let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, I hope you have a wonderful day today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, my most favorite day of the week. And I wonder why that is. See you tomorrow.